monobrow. That was my nickname. Yep, just one giant eyebrow that stretched all the way across my face. I didn't have any brows at all. You know that painting of the Mona Lisa? Yep, just like holding up a mirror. Have you ever heard of a seesaw brow? You know, one up, one down. Trust me, it has happened to me a lot. I try to tweeze them into a shape that usually found on human females, but I would always end up over tweezing. It was a total nightmare. Imagine having to wake up at 7 in the morning every day just to draw in your freaking eyebrows. And it's definitely not terrible. Such a waste of time. I remember after one particularly horrible round of tweezing gone wrong, a girlfriend suggested I seek help at Brow House. What the hell is a Brow House? I asked her. She was like, it's just like a salon, but for your brows. So how does brow resurrection resurrect something that wasn't there in the first place? I like to say it's magic. Because it really kind of is. But it's actually a very unique technique used by Brow House and the skill of the therapist. The therapist started by pencil drawing in the perfect brow for my face. The right shape, the right thickness, the right arch. Each hair on your brow is created from root to tip. It's finer and more realistic than your usual eyebrow embroidery. And then she went to work with this special weaving tool and some semi-permanent vegetable dye. What they do is they gently etch each individual strand onto your skin. And because each stroke is thicker at the root and tapered off at the tip, just like your natural hair, it ends up looking really natural and three-dimensional. Still, I was a little worried that it would hurt, but the therapist made it a lot easier for me. She applied this numbing cream and cranked up an iPod to block out the light buzzing sound. And it was fine. Feels like... A little tickle. Like freezing. No big deal. Now what can I say about magic? Brow resurrection is awesome. And the best part? It lasts for up to two years. So lessons learned. Always listen to your friends. And always leave it to the experts. Thank you, Brow House. You saved my life and my mental health. And I get to wake up a little later. Oh yeah. And eyebrows should always come in pairs. I am a work of art, just not the Mona Lisa. And I'll raise my eyebrows to that.